Johnson, a.k.a. the Instapot. He can get hot quick. Uh, let's go, man. Mr. Max suit deal. Yeah, shout out Mr. Looking Mac. Looking good. <laughs> Looking good, man. Um, okay, let's let's talk about it. You're listed as a junior. Mm -hmm. You have two years left, which is yeah. great. Yeah. I was thinking maybe you were a senior, but with COVID, it's hard to know these days. I'll graduate this year, but still got another year to play. That's awesome. And I know, uh, oh, what's your uh, degree, by the way? Urban planning. Urban planning. Yep. Okay, and you want to be a realtor? Yeah, commercial real estate. You're almost there. I'm almost there. I'm working on my license right now. So if anybody has a commercial building that we need to get sold, nice. Hit me up. Like, so so go. we're gonna we're gonna see Spencer's name joining. Like as we drive down I-15, you see these big buildings. They right. have the banners on them. Say call so and so if you're interested. Spencer that, Johnson's name. That's right. Be on you, you'll join the David Nixon, the David, yeah. Jim Balderson. They're in they're in that game okay. as well. Jimmy Balderson used to play for BYU as there well we in hoops. The, perhaps the greatest Canadian men's basketball player in BYU history. Okay, let's talk hoops with you. Um, oh, uh, Realty, by the way. You're almost there? Yeah. You're almost licensed. Like, close, close. That's awesome. I'm getting there. In college. That's, that's great, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so rumor has it you've you bulked up. You gained some muscle. Is this true? It's true. How much? What are we talking about here? So, <clears throat> from the, the end of last season to the beginning of this one right now, 18 pounds. 18? Yeah. Just pure, undefiled muscle. Just, can't you tell through the camera right here? <laughs> so what's, what was the purpose of gaining the weight? Is it just is it, is it durability? Is it just to be bigger in general? Like, what's, what was the reason behind it? Um, for me, just I just wanted to be bigger, you know? I remember back to our St. Mary's game, and I was like, they're dirty. Like, you watch the St. Mary's game, <laughs> they are dirty. We're going there. And I was like, I'm sick of getting punked by St. Mary's. So I'm going to put on this weight. I, I'm going to spend a lot of time in the weight room this summer. And we developed a plan with Coach Shork, our strength coach. And it was awesome. We made it happen. Are you talking about fighting through contact? Is that yeah. what you're referring to? Yeah. Like so, like, with every, with every rep, was it like, St. Murray's, <laughs> Yale's? <laughs> like, I mean, it's like, is that what it was? <laughs> Randy Bennett, yeah. Logan Johnson. <laughs> and uh, I kind of love that you said that because it's a rivalry. You go yeah. back and forth and whatnot. Um, what is it about St. Mary's that makes it so uh, emotional? Because clearly that matters to you based on your comments. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> last year when we went there, the, St. Mary's has a stigma when you go there that the refs just aren't going to make calls, right? It's just, a, it's just a tough place to play. And when we went there, like, sure enough, there were some questionable calls or non-calls made. And I was like... That's, I'm just, that's just not going to happen. Whether the ref calls the call this next year or not, it's not going to affect the way that I finish. You know. What are your thoughts on this being the last year in the conference? I, I know Coach Pope really wants you guys focusing this year, not yeah. looking ahead, but, I mean, everywhere you go, it's going to be the last time you're going there. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a little weird. I mean, the, the WCC has been great. There's some really cool places we go, San Francisco and, and San Diego, really, really cool cities. Um, definitely don't want to discount this year as we're looking forward to next year. We, there's some good teams, and you got to stay locked in. It'd be fun to play Utah State this year. It's not happening yeah. because your brother transferred to Utah State. Yep. We would have had part two of the Johnson Bowl. <laughs> I know. Which you are 1-0 in yep. after the Oregon game last year. Uh, were you bummed when you heard that news? I was bummed out. Um, that's always a fun game because I think we were going to either play it uh, at the Jazz Arena or up in Logan which, you know, either one of those venues is, is super cool. Didn't work out this year, which is a bummer. I love that game, yeah. too. I think it's a great one. Yeah. But he called me and is like, dude, I can't believe it. The last memory I have of you is, is you putting a 40 ball on me. <laughs> <laughs> and the pass. And the, yeah. it was, that, was, that was quite the moment. Uh, that was quite the moment, which was awesome. Okay, uh, let's talk about American Fork. Mm -hmm. You and Trey Stewart represent. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice uh, caveman representation right there. Yeah. And your, th your thoughts on Trey's game. He feels like he's going to be a bigger part of this team. This he year. is. He's taking a, a big stride. He's, he's shooting the ball really well. I think he's been shooting like 50% from three in, in all of our live play. So um, he's taking a big step. He's shooting it really well. He's making really good plays. He's super athletic. I don't know if you guys knew that. 6'9 wingspan. Yeah. Like I, said. I didn't realize that, that he's plus seven. Yeah. That's amazing. So he, he's definitely going to be a big part of our team this year. And he'll customize his shoes. <laughs> yes, he will. I'm actually working on a deal with him, so nice. look out for that. Nice. So take us through this new team. Obviously, lots of new faces. You've been here for a couple of seasons, so you, you've kind of been around a couple of different mm -hmm. types of teams. 
give us the rundown on on this group and 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 what what fans can expect this year. Yeah, we I mean we have a lot of new guys and there's always challenges that come with that. We're we're you know trying to get everyone on the same page because we haven't played with each other. Dudes are coming from different places, so you know we got to get everybody on the same page. But um, the big thing that they've been pushing for us is like, hey, make a play for your teammate. You know, which which is always a great way when you got dudes that are coming in, you get that ball moving around and you're sharing it and everyone starts to feel good. And you're like, okay, we can play with each other, you know. And that was fun to see during the practice as we see some of that footage uh, from a couple of weeks ago because the coach staff will actually get mad at you if you don't take that open shot. Yeah. When that play is made, which is really funny. It's like, no, don't make the extra, make an extra play, but we don't want an extra, extra play. Exactly. Yeah, they tell us all the time, we work really hard to earn a good shot for our teammates. So if you don't shoot the ball, you're actually being selfish because mm -hmm. we worked hard to get you that, which is, which is a cool concept. You'd think that, yeah, you'd think that's yeah. uh, counterintuitive there. What did you work on this offseason mm -hmm. individually to get better besides gaining 18 pounds yeah. of muscle? Straight muscle. Obviously strength. Um, been working really hard uh, with Coach Fennell, who's come in. Um, we we're, we're really want to play in transition a lot more this year. So working really hard with him on hey, when you catch the ball, like you need to be able to make a read in 0.5 seconds about are you going to drive, are you going to shoot, or are you going to pass? Um, so that's been super helpful for me. And, you know, just taking those, those steps that, um, to be a leader on this team as well because we have so many new guys. Well, and, and being a leader, that's obviously a role that, that I'm sure that you would love to be, be able to do this year. From an on-the-court perspective, have, have the coaches talked to you about what, type of role they envision for you this year not a ton not a ton yet um probably a conversation that we will have um but just the way things have been shaping up i you know in, in our practices and, and preseason and things like that I, I really feel like i have kind of you know had to take that that next leadership role and it's been awesome i love it there are a lot of newcomers um tell us about kind of who sticks out and who fans are going to enjoy watching yeah. this season because obviously there's kind of the big three and in Noah and uh, Rudy and Jackson, yeah, and there are three return missionaries, and there are other mm -hmm. there are other guys. There are lots of newcomers. Totally, yeah. Each dude brings a, a different strength to the team, um, but one one dude I f I think that Cougar fans are really gonna like is Rudy. He's super fun. Um, I was talking to some people earlier today, and and he's just like your classic point guard, where he's always talking. Like I I walk into the locker room and he's on the phone with somebody or he's FaceTiming or he's talking to one of his teammates, like the dude is just always talking, which you love. Communicator. Communicator. On and off the court. Yeah, which you love for your point guard. So I think, you know, Cougar Nation is really going to like him. So he's coming on the show a little bit later mm -hmm. on. Is there, is, there, is there something that maybe we can put him on the spot with? Maybe something we could ask him about? Oh, man. That like He's like, whoa, they, the how, do, how do you know that? that? How, do, how we, do you know and that? We've had him on before, yes. but, but we need some insight. Yeah, I mean, you're around Rudy every day. <laughs> yeah. Ask him about, he's from Canada, but he says he's from Florida, so <laughs> maybe put a little play on that. I don't Come know. on, okay. Ontario. Yeah. It's from Ontario. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, um, in terms of your play, you played 61 games at BYU all off the bench. Mm -hmm. what's, what's it like sort of embracing that role of like, and I've called you the instant pot, like you can get hot quick, of, okay, this is my role and I'm going to do it well. And mm -hmm. perhaps your role is different this year. I don't know. Yeah. But you've played every game off the bench and been a contributor in that way. Yeah. Um, you know, for me personally, it was my mindset when I got here to BYU was, hey, if I play four minutes or if I play 30 minutes, you know, I'm going to come in and I'm going to make a difference. And that's something that I've always really tried to do. Um, and I don't really see that changing. And, you know, so whether, you know, this season, I same deal, I end up playing four minutes in one game or I end up playing the whole game. Like, it doesn't matter. You just got to come in and make a difference. And and you got to do what it takes to, you know, ultimately help your team get, get the win. You know, it's the everybody has always cared about what they wore, but <laughs> the uniforms and the colors that has become so important to mm -hmm. players and honestly for fans and everything. What do you think of the uh, the new uniforms? Oh, they're sweet. We got the new royal white and royal, which I love. I love the royal. Um, and then the navy and royal. You guys saw that's that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love Super that. Super clean. The nicknames the Kalani. 
because he's been yeah. wearing navy and royal for a long time now. Yes. Some yeah. fans don't like that look. Thank you, Kalani. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look, personally. The rumor is, though, that we're getting two more new jerseys. Yes. I haven't seen them, I, but yeah. I'm pretty there, excited. There are other jerseys on the way. For this season, by the way? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. For this season. Intriguing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, and this video was sweet. What'd you, what'd you think of this? Oh, it was awesome. Our media day, they got a new like 360 camera going around. and um, Maddie and Emma bringing it. They're bringing it. It was fire. It was fire, right? Okay, the, uh, on the schedule, what games stick out to you? Because there's some real awesome mm. opportunities, including the Bahamas. Yeah. We, uh, Creighton, big one, USC. Um, any game in the Bahamas, which... <laughs> there's some big time Big ones, teams like in there. Kansas yeah. and Tennessee are sitting in there. I know, I know. Um, Gonzaga, obviously. Yep. St. Mary's. St. Mary's, we know how that you feel about little, that now. a little personal. <laughs> um, and then San Francisco. Yep, that team up north. As well, oh yeah, yeah. Few few old That's teammates, another uh, coach. That's right. Yep. That's a big one. And Lindenwood. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> U UVU is interesting too. Let's be honest. A little yeah. payback there. Mm -hmm. A little payback. Definitely. Okay, we're trying to get on that Bahamas trip. But I came this close to being on that Bahamas trip. No, I thought you might make <laughs> I, it. I was this close didn't. to being the one. No, uh, it's not happening. Not, not happening. We'll send you. We'll send you a picture. Thank you. <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> just like Hawaii. I think we had. Uh, did we have Tijon Lucas on, I think, from, uh, from Maui? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That was, that was fun. In terms of uh, the schedule and the opportunities there, basketball is interesting because yeah. you're rewarded for playing a tough schedule, whether you win or not. And you guys are going out on the road. You're playing in Vegas, playing in the Bahamas, playing mm -hmm. all over the place. Are there certain games where you're like, okay, we need to get X amount of these? Obviously, you want to win every one, Spencer. Yeah. But the reality is you're going to lose them, and that's fine. Um, to try and get into the NCAA tournament because I know that's the goal of this team every year. Totally. Um, learning from last year, so we were, you know, pretty much like a weekend away from getting into the tournament. We dropped a couple games that we shouldn't have lost. So I think more than anything is you, we obviously want to win every game and, and we're competing. And, you know, I, I think we actually will surprise a lot of people. Um, but it's taking care of those games that you shouldn't lose. Like you, we just can't lose those. So that's definitely going to be a big focus this year. And then, um, you know, like I said, I think we're going to surprise some teams this year. What, what, what do you think will surprise people? What, what do you think maybe you're not getting the credit for that you think you guys will surprise? Yeah, I think just how how good of like shooters we are, how fast we're getting up and down the floor in transition, um, and how disruptive we are on defense. We've really been working on those three things. Um, so that's going to be, I think a lot of teams are like, they're going to look at our roster and they're going to say, Oh man, well they don't have a, a really big name like a Barcelo or a, you know, a, a, Har a Matt Harms. Like they don't have these big names, so they're not going to be good. But that's not true, you know. Okay, well we look forward to it. October 26th coming up uh, uh, very quickly. The blue and white game. Thanks for the time, Spencer. Yeah, thank you thanks guys. For, thanks for bringing your added 18 pounds of muscle in the Let's studio. Let's go. It's great. <laughs>